What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just a quick player of the week review today. To be honest with you lads, I think this is a big... I just don't feel that this is a good pack. Obviously we have got Nakamura to go through, we'll go through him in a little bit on the channel. But I think now where the worldwide player of the weeks are going to be is going to be somewhere between... You know, being just a bit of fun if you're looking for your favorite player or it's a unique player. Like we had Giroud who could play in goals or McTominay who's a center forward, out of position stars, or that have a unique play style or unique skills. Or else for newcomers, man. I mean, I really feel that if you've been playing the game, if you've been playing the game for longer than even two weeks now, these new player of the weeks are kind of outdated. Now, we'll take a quick look, right? Because they are maxed out. They are, of course, on A rating as well. Bremer's probably the pick of the pack. 90 defensive awareness and tackling, 88 aggression, that will go to 90 obviously when you get the manager boost, and of course his speed is at 78 which will go again to 80 when he gets the manager boost, heading, jumping, physical contact, all very solid, very very solid defender, very solid destroyer, but he doesn't have blocker and you can't train blocker on him, so I do feel like again these cards are more for now being if you want to kind of like learn the game mechanics and stuff like that, I don't know why my webcam is a bit low, um, but yeah, these cards, I mean, in my opinion, that's kind of where they're at right now, right? We also have Richarlison here, if you are a Spurs fan. Very solid as well, but again, lacking that speed, the balance, the tight possession. Can't train him up. He does have a couple of nice player skills, such, such as first-time shot, one-touch pass, aerial superiority, double-touch, long-range shooting, chip shot control, outside curler is always nice as well. Doesn't have a long range curler, which seems to be very meta at the moment. Um, but I do feel like again, this is just a traditional goal poacher. It's an okay card. I mean, it's it's not really a card that I would say, yeah, he's definitely worth getting. I would say on top of Bremer lads, Lorente is probably also another really good pick. 92 speed is massive, acceleration is massive as well. Excellent card. Now look at this card, right? Box to box can play every single position under the sun from central or from defensive to SS through the middle and then right back or right midfielder. Perfect card if you play a lot of sub tactics, which I usually do. I start sometimes with a three at the back, then switch to a four. If you're really, really struggling, you can switch up to a five or whatever to kind of keep your opponent guessing, especially now with man marking and stuff like that. First time shot, long range curler, one touch pass, pinpoint cross and track back, interception, outside curler, true passing and fighting spirit as well as man marking. It's an excellent card, probably to pick Abbott with Bremer because you're going to have 88 acceleration, 94 speed, uh, 90 stamina and then again 83 uh, dribbling and aggression which will get a boost to 85 each which is huge. It's a very very good, probably one of the most and best, most complete box to box midfielders they've ever released especially as a CMF if you're looking for that perfect balance between attack and defense another center back I mean this guy's down as a destroyer as well similar to Bremer actually similar build similar style obviously he has blocker and he has also got double touch this is what I'm talking about like these kind of cards are probably worth getting if you've got a lot of coins I mean I can see up here well you can't see with the webcam but we don't have a lot of coins we wouldn't be putting coins in for these you've got Martinez who again goes to um fairly nice stats won't hit uh, 90 reflexes, which is a major no-no for me on a card, especially now with the way the goalkeepers are gone. And then, of course, we also have Barcola. So this is what I'm talking about, some unique cards, right? Very, very young player, very, very exciting player for PSG, kind of breaking onto the scene now. Double touch, soul control. You can't give him flip-flap. You can't give him one-touch pass, but he is on A4. Might be a bit of fun to play with, especially in the events. You also have Ducori. So this guy is down as a whole playing attack and midfielder and his height is worth it. He actually looks about 7 foot 4 there in that picture. But speed, acceleration and balance are quite poor for an attack and midfielder whole player. Obviously he's more of a pass first kind of guy. But he's actually got really good defensive stats can play DMF or CMF. Um, tight possession is okay. Dribbling is okay. Passing is very good. Ball control is very good. But again, not a really a here or there type of player in my opinion. Doesn't really know what he wants to do man. Lacazette. Again, another very good deep line forward, but obviously going to be overshadowed by the free Neymar. You should have got him by now. One touch pass, very nice. First time shot, very nice. Uh, track back is nice, but 
Again, another another kind of average card. We also have Zork Z. So this guy is pretty decent. This guy interests me as well as a dummy runner. Kind of reminds me of Kubo. Kind of that style. Very, very tall as well. Uh, 193 centimeters, which is nice. Kind of a different type of unique card. But his stats just aren't good enough, man. The balance is a killer. The type possession is a killer. His acceleration is a killer. He has got super sub, which kind of turns it back around a little bit. He has got soul control through passing, but... Not really to shout home about here, boys. I'm not going to lie to you. And then last but not least, we have Aoba. Aubameyang, 95 speed, 85 acceleration. He's definitely been on the treadmill, lads. 90 finishing is very generous, but he does have inconsistent form. Very good player skills as well. Solid. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. It's solid, right? It's a, it's an okay one, right? Miguel get, get Gutierrez is the box to box. 88 speed, 89 acceleration, you're going to have 90 plus for a central midfielder, to, or a left midfielder type Roman flank, but he's down as a box to box, kind of aggressive uh, on the ball as well, but very poor player skills, um, and even though he's on A rating, he doesn't have a face, you know, look, I think it's just a disappointing card really, I mean, he doesn't have good type possession, his balance is average, um, the rest of his cards, so for me, this is a big skip, unless you want to get Bremer or Lorente. they're definitely worth it, in my opinion, if you don't have a solid center midfielder, uh, or a center back by now, but yeah, if you are a newcomer, these are always going to be upgrades for you, right, next up, we're actually going to take a look at Nakamura, and talk you through him, and do a review and a training guide to him, so keep it locked, it's a skip for me, let me know in the comments below what you guys think, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later, what a wink,